All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to get a really, really, really stuck drum front or rear off of your car. You've tried pretty much every uh, path to get it off, um, but I'll go over some of the things you can do to get it off um, beforehand. So, you know, obviously, Use a hammer, if you have like a two pound hammer or, or something bigger than this, you know, it helps. And you hit here, all the way around, get your, because usually there's two ways, uh, or a couple ways it can be stuck. Your shoes, your brake shoes on the inside can be stuck up against the drum surface on each side. Or, if they're not stuck, you can spin them which I can spin them, but I'm too weak. Um, but, and they'll spin, but you can't pull your drum off. And you might, the shoes might be stuck on a lip that's been created by the drum surface, the, the braking surface on the drum. Uh, and it's pulling back on those shoes and it won't let go. The other thing is that it's rusted so bad that it's rust welded itself from this point here uh, on the axle in my case which is I've already gotten that off but in order to get that off you would hit here 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 and here and then I would hit there at the end try not to hit your uh, your weights because otherwise you'll have to get a whole new drum hit here here and you got to really try not to hit your uh, lug studs because if you hit those then you're going to be in a really bad situation and you'll have some issues um, which I've done before and it's not fun um, but I have what you can do to get that off when it's stuck rusted here is you hit there hit there so you spray some like uh, penetrating oil in the holes there which I've already done um, you let it sit and then you come out and hit it and you turn it kind of as you're doing it and then you wiggle back and forth on each side with both hands obviously um, and eventually it'll pop off and come off now excuse me I've uh, my issue is that it's not rusted here um, and I believe I probably have a little bit of a lip issue on the mating surface on the braking surface and then on top of that usually what I've had to deal with when I work on some of my cars is that not only I have a lip issue but I have a brake pad or a brake shoe that is so worn out that part of the brake material on the shoe is stuck to the drum and will allow the drum to spin but won't allow it to come off. So the drum so one of the shoes and chances are it's probably the front one, because that's the front of the car for me. Uh, it's stuck to the shoe up top here because I've I can move this side but I can't move this side and I can spin it but I'm too weak and I only have one hand making this video but um, so it's I think it's pretty stuck over here on this side so if all else fails one of the ways is to get this drum off is there are uh, two retaining pins uh, that hold in, hold your your brake shoes to your dust plate on the back. And what you can do is you can kind of pry one of those out and then clamp, cut it off, cut off the end. And I'll show you how to do that so that you can pull this off and eventually you just wiggle it, wiggle, wiggle. And it'll come off um, and I'll show you guys how to do that uh, there is another way 
to get it off if you have if you're having brake shoes issues is your self adjuster screw in the back now I've already tried that and it didn't work for me so I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna have to do this and I'll walk you through it okay so this is probably gonna be a little hard to see but we're under my car um, and this little thing right here is the retaining pin that's holding in uh, my brake shoe. Um, what I'm going to have to do is pry it back like so. And it may not be that easy. And I apologize for things not staying in focus. I'm just using my phone for this. But it won't be easy. Especially because chances are you'll have to be up under your car. Well, it looks like my dog just got in trouble. <laughs> my wife just called out her name. But as you can see, I've pried it up. Well, pried it up a little bit and then I lost it. Then you, you get in something that can cut metal. You clip it off, you'll clip this flat end off, and then you do it to the other side. There's one on the other side, pretty much same, same spot on the other side. Oh, I also forgot to mention that if you can't, uh, if you don't have something to clip metal, in my case, which I just realized, because <laughs> these ain't going to cut it, um, you can also take a drill bit that's a certain size and I'll show you and drill it out and that'll work as well. Um, so I'll show you that too. Okay, ignore that. <laughs> so this is the kind of drill bit you're gonna wanna use. Um, it's pretty small. This is about the size. I believe it was a About around a nine sixty fourths or one eighth. One of the one of them. They they didn't. They don't like to stay in their little places. They fall out. So, but I'll see you guys under the car. All right. So this is gonna be really hard for me to show you guys because I don't have a way to uh, prop up my phone and do this at the same time. And I don't have a very good angle because of my shock. But you're basically gonna drill right through the center. Right there, the pin, and you'll do that on both sides. Obviously, with the drill turned the right way. But uh, I don't have. Uh, yeah, so um, I'll meet you guys back when I get this one drilled out. But basically, that's what you do you drill it out, you do it for both sides, and then I'll, sh I'll meet you guys back when uh, I've done that. Okay, so you'll have to excuse my daughter here but um you know she's got her tools Who's that? Yeah, that's my hammer uh. um but uh i have to watch her so but i got one pin pretty much drilled out and i've just hammered my really hefty screwdriver in here and i'm just gonna kind of pop it out of place and uh, i kind of need two hands for this but you just what I've done is I've pried my screwdriver in there and I'm just I hammered it in this way and I'm gonna start pulling back and I'll eventually pop the rest of that head off on that pin and then uh, I'll yank this drum off. Unfortunately, I was having some issues drilling it because I have a shock in the way so I can't get a clear hit on it. So it was in the way, but that's just because I'm working on a 68 Galaxy. Uh, but this tip, this trick will work for any car that has drum brakes. Um, more modern cars will have, you know, you'll have an easier way to get to that pin. But, uh, so. Okay, so, here's my daughter. Um, so, I've gotten both pins broken loose. Um, so, this is probably going to be a problem that you'll see. Bless you. Uh, but this is one of the back of one of the pins. 
Um, so that's kind of what you're looking for. So I got both of them broke. Um, and it's still holding on. So when you run into that problem, which you probably will, if it's this stuck that you have to go... Oops. If it's, if it's this stuck and you have to go through that, chances are it'll probably still hold on. But you'll have like a lot more movement. I mean, look at that. So I'm making progress. Um, so what you can do is if it's still not coming off, is you'll go to the back here and you're going to undo your wheel cylinder just unbolt it um, undo the line and you'll knock that loose and then when you undo that it should just fall right apart and come off so I'll get back with you guys when I've done that Ended up having to call a buddy to get this off. That was how bad it was. Oh. 